Democratic and Republican administrations have pushed NATO to Russian's borders, violating our own solemn promise from the early 90s when we pledged that if Russia made this terrible concession of moving 400,000 troops out of East Germany and allowing the unification of Germany under a NATO army, a, a hostile army, that we would commit that after that we would not move NATO one inch to the east. And James Baker gave that assurance, as did the British uh, government officials and many, many others. And yet, today, we have surrounded Russia. We have moved it not one inch to the east, but a 1,000 miles and 14 nations. We have surrounded Russia with missiles and military bases, something that we would never tolerate if the Russians did that to us. And statements from our government officials and think tanks lay out the goals for the Ukraine war, regime change in Russia, the overthrow of Vladimir Putin. This is what President Biden has said, is there our purpose in the Ukraine? the disabling and exhaustion of the Russian military. None of these objectives have anything to do with helping the Ukraine. Ukraine is simply a pawn in a, in a proxy war. Nuclear powers must avert those confrontations which bring an adversary to a choice of either humiliating retreat or a nuclear war. But for the last 20 years, the advocates of a militaristic foreign policy within the US leadership have done exactly the opposite. Their belligerent strategy of maximum confrontation extends beyond Russia to China.